Hey grade 6, uh, Mrs. Inch here. Just going to go through a couple examples on area of L shapes just to give you kind of some strategies working through um, the rest of the examples on this page. You should have already watched the short video on uh, decomposing shapes um, and that's the kind of strategy I'm going to work through in the first two examples. Okay, so number one, first thing you should notice is what side lengths do you have and what side lengths are you missing? Okay, so right away you should notice that you have a couple that are missing um, and we'll be able to actually use the other side lengths to determine what those are. Okay, so right away I notice that it's an irregular shape. It's not a regular rectangle or a square. So now what I need to do is I need to find a shape within a shape. So I'm looking for where can I draw a line to either find two rectangles or two squares. Okay, so I notice right away that if I draw a line there, I have a rectangle along the top and a rectangle along the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to work with this rectangle at the top. I notice that I have a measurement at the top and then I can assume that that can be the one that goes along the bottom. But I am missing, missing this side measurement here and I know that that's my width. So I have my length but I need to determine my width. Okay, so a good strategy is if you're looking for a missing side length, draw an arrow, arrow across. Okay, and then I'm going to draw an arrow here because I know this side length plus this side length should give me this total of 30. Okay, so I've got 20, but I have a missing one, and I know my total is 30. So I think what number can be added to 20 in order to get 30, and then I can determine that this side length has to be 10. 10 plus 20 gives a total of 30. Okay, and now I'm ready to actually calculate the area of that top rectangle. Okay. So area equals length times width, and area equals 25 times 10, and area equals 250. Okay, and now my top rectangle is done. Okay, now I'm going to work on this bottom one. So I notice right away um, I've got 7 along the bottom, and I've got 20 along the side. So I actually don't need to look across to determine any missing sides because I've got my length and my width right there. So again, area equals length times width. Area equals 7 multiplied by 20. And I find out that that one is 140 feet squared. Okay, so I've got my two rectangles now, but I'm not quite done. Okay, because with L shapes, if you do decompose the shape into two shapes, we have to add up the areas in order to find the total. Okay, so last step, and I'm just going to squeeze it at the bottom here. Um, take 250 plus 140, and I get a ground total of an area of 390 feet squared. Okay. All right, if I look over to number two here. Okay, so again, I'm looking at this irregular shape, and I'm trying to pick out if I can find any rectangles or squares that I can break it up into. Okay. So I'm going to draw a line here, and I'm going to first calculate the top rectangle, and then I'll calculate the bottom. Okay, so let's look at this top one first. I know I've got one side length along the top of 55, but I am missing this side length. Okay, so again, draw an arrow, arrow across to see what you can use to be able to try to find out what that side length is. So I see a grand total over here of 55. Okay. And then I see I've got 22 here. So I know this side plus this side must equal 55. Okay, so 22 plus what number would give me 55? And then I can determine that this side has to be 33. Okay, and now I have my two measurements and I'm ready to calculate the area on my first rectangle. So area equals length times width. Area equals 55 times 33. And for my first rectangle there, I find that I have an area of 1,815. Okay, so that one's now done. Now I'm looking to this bottom one. Now I have a side length of 22, but then I do not have the bottom side length. Okay, so then I've got to draw an arrow and look across to see what two sides make up that total side. Okay, so again I've got 55, and then I've got 35 plus something else has to equal 55. And I'll determine that this side then has to be 20. Okay. 
because 20 plus 35 gives 55, and this is my total across, okay? I'm just gonna do this calculation up here. So area equals length times width, area equals 22 times 20, area for that bottom shape is 440, okay? Now I'm not quite done because I know I have the top shape and the bottom shape and my last step will be to simply add them together. Okay, so area equals 440 plus 1,815 for a grand total of 2,255 and I'm making sure to include my units. Okay, hopefully that helps you with the next ones but always remember to find those shapes inside shapes, and these ones will all be two steps. So you will have to calculate um, two different rectangles and then add in your areas together. Okay, good luck.